Hello students. So here is the explanation of question answers of the chapter name The Shadow and the Flash. First question. Now I shall go on the very opposite track. Who said this to whom? The answer is Paul said this to the Lloyd. What was being discussed? The physical properties and the possibilities of invisibility were being discussed. What was the opposite track? Answer is the opposite track that Paul chose would be complete would be to complete the same experiment by doing away with the shadow. Next question. What was the Lloyd's theory about an object that was perfectly black? Answer. Lloyd's theory states that if the object are perfectly black or absolutely black, one could not see them in light as well. Next question. What was Paul looking to obtain through his experiment? Answer. Through his experiment, Paul was looking to obtain transparency, a state of body which permits all the rays of light to pass through. His line of inquiry would be to do away with the shadow. Next question. What would reveal the Paul's position on the other side of the net to the narrator? Answer. A rainbow flash would reveal Paul's position on the other side of the net to the narrator narrator. How did the narrator make sure of Lloyd's existence of the tennis, tennis court? So the answer is, in the middle of their game of tennis, the narrator saw a ball rebound in mid-air and empty space close to the net. He then realized that Lloyd had come onto the tennis court. He looked for his shadow and saw it, its shapeless blotch moving along the ground. Next question. The narrator said that he trembled for the success of either of his friend. What was it he feared? How did his fear prove to be true? Answer. Both the narrator's friend, Lloyd and Paul, attacked the problem with the tremendous energy for which they were noted and with a bitterness that made the narrator tremble for the success of either. He feared that their rivalry would end really badly for both of them. His Fear proved to be true as in the end, when they both proved to be successful in their experiments, they came to physical blows when they meet on the tennis court. Last question. What do you think happened to Paul and Lloyd by the end of the story? What proof is available in the text to support this line? Answer. Both Paul and Lloyd died by the end of the story because the narrator could see no more flashes of the light and the shadow had become long and stationary. These are the answers. The over-competitiveness displayed by Paul and Lloyd was beneficial in terms of scientific achievement but harmful with respect to their own lives. Discuss in class. Maybe the answer can be Paul and Lloyd made a significant contribution to the science as they discovered invisibility. However, their bitterness for each other lead to their own destruction. Had they been working together, they could have achieved more and more. अगर उन दोनों ने साथ में काम किया होता तो शायद वो सच में कुछ बहुत अच्छा निकाल कर ला सकते थे बट उनकी राइवलरी उनकी दुश्मनी की वजह से एट लास्ट क्या होता है दोनों ही एक दूसरे को खत्म कर देते हैं और एट द एंड उनके हाथ में कुछ भी नहीं आता है तो मोरल ऑफ द स्टोरी शेडो एंड फ्लैश ये चैप्टर जो पूरा है ये शेडो एंड फ्लैश के ऊपर ही है इन विजिबिलिटी की जो थ्योरी है वो भी शेडो एंड फ्लैश पर ही डिपेंड करती है इसके सिर्फ यही दो ड्रॉबैक हैं बाकी तो इन विजिबिलिटी पॉसिबल है ओके थैंक यू एवरीवन